Now in this next part we have to show that x3, the third term in the sequence, is equal to 1 plus 3p plus 2p squared. So how are we going to do that? Well we would set n equal to 2. Why? Because 2 add 1 would give us x3, the third term in the sequence. So if I put n is 2 into here we have x3 is equal to x2 multiplied by p plus xn, n is 2, so that's x2. But what is x2? Well we found in the previous question that x2 was p plus 1. So this is going to be p plus 1 multiplied by the p here plus x2 again which is p plus 1. Cleaning this up, we have the first factor, p plus 1. Clean this factor up and we have 2p plus 1. Expand the brackets now and we have p times 2p is 2p squared. p times the 1 here is plus p. 1 times 2p, 2p. And 1 times 1 is 1. Group up the terms and you can see that we're going to get this answer up here. We have the 1, then we have p and 2p which is 3p, and finally the 2p squared. So there we are, x3.